Hello everybody, my name is Paul Tace, in this video we are going to be looking at the UAV forecast app, why it's useful and how you can use it to keep your drone safe. Let's get started. Okay everybody, now as I said in the intro, we are going to be looking at the UAV forecast app. Uh, now this is entirely free and it's actually available all over the world and it can give you update information about the weather in your current location and it's going to have everything you need to know weather based that can affect your drone. So having said that, let's bring down the screen and now you can see exactly what I can see on my phone. So this is what we get when we open the UAV forecast app. Now um, I've searched for London here, but if you want to know your current location, you can just hit that little tag there. And if you want to know somewhere different, you can just click in here and search for it. But as I said, we're going to be looking at London today. Okay, so if I go here, we can look at the top left-hand corner. We've got this, uh, it shows us what the weather is. We've got the cloud and the sun. Uh, actually outside at the moment, it's completely cloudy. We can't see the sun at all, but it'll give you a good idea of what the weather is like. Uh, next to that, it tells you when the sun comes up and goes down, and we can see today the sun's going to be setting at 4.07. So this is good information, uh, because if we want to use golden hour, we know we can get there uh, for 3.07, and if the sun's out, we're going to get some nice light. Uh, next to that, we've got the temperature, and just below that, we've got some wind information. So we can see that we've got uh, 10 mile an hour winds with 23 mile an hour gusts, and it also shows us the wind direction. Now it's worth pointing out here that my Mavic Mini has got a 90 mile per hour maximum speed. So although I could fly it at 10 miles an hour, with the gusts I may have trouble getting it back, so it wouldn't be a good idea to fly it. And then uh, if we have a look at the precipitation, we can see it's not raining. Uh, we can see we've got 80% cloud cover, and we've got 16 kilometers of visibility. So underneath that we've got some space information. Uh, we can see that there are 15 visible satellites to us and uh, 14 of those have got us locked. And we've also got a KP of 3. Now the KP index is going to refer to the interference of the Earth's magnetic field um, and this is going to be measured from uh, KP0 to KP9. And as we can see it's currently 3. So if it's set to 0 this means there's going to be very little geomagnetic um, disruption going on and if this is set to 9 this means there's some like geomagnetic storm going on. Now this is important to us as UAV pilots because uh, this is going to affect our transmission from our remote to our drone. So if this is too high, we'll just keep losing signal. So if I slide this around here, we can see what this forecast later on, what kind of wind speed we'll be expecting and how many satellites will be in the area. Now after that, we can come down to our settings and uh, let's go into threshold settings. So if we look in here, we can see I've got my max wind speed set to 20 miles per hour. And this is for my Mini 2. If I was flying my Mavic Mini, I would then drop this down to 15 because I know that the maximum speed of the Mavic Mini is 90 miles per hour, so it won't be able to cope in 20 mile an hour gusts. I've also got to include gusts on because I don't want to get caught out. Now what we can also do here is put the wind altitude. So if I know I'm going to be flying uh, uh, 120 meters above ground, I can set this to 125. If I put this at ground level, we can see the wind speed is 8 miles per hour, and then if I put this at 125 meters, we can see that the wind speed is going to be 20 miles per hour. Uh, with gusts, this could be tricky if you've got your drone up high to get it back. And there's going to be a lot of options here that are going to be self-explanatory, which are going to adjust the conditions we'd seen earlier in here. So um, again, if I go back down to the bottom, we're going to have some solar weather. The minimum amount of satellites we have on us, which we're going to really want to be 12, and I don't believe our drones can take off with anything less than 12, and uh, the KP index. Again, this is going to be the geomagnetic interference. So after that, if we come out of the threshold, okay, so if we go into no-fly settings, this is where we can set the parameters of how far away we want to be from different things. Now, as a default, because this is American, we've got it set at eight kilometers, which is going to be um, five miles. Um, however, in the UK, it's five kilometers, so I've dropped mine down to five kilometers, and for now, I've just turned the airports off. To be fair, I usually use the Drone Assist app for this, and I wouldn't usually use um, the UAV forecast. But one useful feature that I'd like to draw your attention to is the show range guide. And I've set mine to 0.5 kilometers because here in the UK, we've got a 500 meter restriction of how far we can fly our drones away from us. Uh, now, if I click on the map, so here we can see the 500 meters around me. This is gonna be obviously a kilometer across and we'll know that if we're in risk of going into any dangerous zones. Okay, now we can also come down the bottom and look at the forecast and the wind profile. Uh, these, are, these are parts of the app I tend not to use, and if we want, we can upgrade it. This app is actually uh, free, and you only have to pay if you want to upgrade it. 
Okay guys, so that's a detailed overview of the UAV forecast. It's completely free, and in my opinion, there's no reason you wouldn't want to download this. It's gonna give you all the up-to-date weather information of your local of your current location or anywhere you intend to fly and it will also give you an idea of the wind speeds up high which is something that could catch a lot of people out. Uh, I don't tend to use it a lot for the map although you can use this if you choose to. Okay guys that's it for this video if you found it useful hitting that like button is a huge help to me as a creator and I hope to see you in the next one.